Welcome to our city. We're sure glad you've decided to spend the next 15 minutes visiting with us. It's early afternoon here, and the townspeople are either concentrating on their studies, or busy at work, or just plain enjoying the pleasant weather. In fact, it's the kind of day when it seems that nothing could ever go wrong. But tragically, things are not always what they seem. And in exactly 10 minutes, nature's most violent weather phenomenon will cut through this town, leaving behind a horrifying path of death and destruction. Would you know what to do? Would you be able to survive? You have exactly 9 minutes and 43 seconds to decide, because in that time, a killer tornado will devastate this community. A tornado? Today, here in this town? How could that be? Just outside of town, the elements which can combine to create a twister are rapidly forming. A low pressure system is drawing in warm, exceptionally moist surface air from the Gulf of Mexico with low, very hot, dry air from the southwest and cold surface air from the north. When the dry air meets the moist gulf air, a squall line forms. Turbulence grows when the cold front moves in. As these storms move into the influence of the strong jet stream aloft, they can become more intense, the breeding grounds for a tornado. At the National Severe Storms Forecast Center, weathermen are alerted and have been analyzing data gathered by radar, weather balloons, satellites, and weather stations. It's not yet possible to predict the exact time and place of a tornado, but it is possible to identify areas in which weather conditions suggest a high probability of tornado activity. When this happens, a tornado watch is issued. The National Weather Service has just issued a tornado watch for this area. The threat of tornadoes will exist until 9.30 p.m. Please watch for threatening weather conditions and stay tuned for updated information. During a tornado watch, people know that they need not interrupt their normal routine except to look for threatening weather conditions. At school, activities go on as usual. Though the faculty has already been notified of the watch and the tornado spotter is assigned to check on local weather conditions and to monitor radio and television reports. I was in a tornado once and houses were getting wrecked and our, the house was just falling apart, glasses were breaking. Students in classrooms, fully aware that they may soon be faced with a tornado, turn their attention to these killer storms. If we were to have something like a tornado or a hurricane, what would be the safest place for you? Since 90 percent of tornadoes come from the southwest, that corner of the building will not be used for protection. Glass partitions and windows must be avoided, as well as rooms with unsupported roof spans like auditoriums, gymnasiums, and cafeterias. Outside, the people continue to keep an eye on the weather. 
they contact one another, informally spreading a warning while constantly searching the sky for several danger signals which indicate the possible approach of a twister. They look for clouds appearing to bulge down instead of up and greenish black in color. They look for hail and rain which frequently precede a tornado. And most important, they look for the worst, a funnel-shaped cloud spinning rapidly and extending downward toward the earth from the base of a thundercloud. The tornado watch is still in effect and has been extended until 11 p.m. Scattered severe thunderstorms with large hail and locally damaging winds are also forecast. It is advisable for loose objects to be stored indoors. The people in the town respond quickly. Though a tornado hasn't been spotted yet, the people know that wind speeds within a twister's vortex or center have been estimated at upwards of 200 miles per hour and that unsecured objects lifted and hurled by these powerful winds can easily become lethal missiles. With the winds rising and the clouds darkening, civil defense and police personnel become increasingly watchful. As the weather deteriorates, meteorologists continue to monitor the crisis situation. And then, almost inevitably, a tornado is spotted. A tornado warning is now in effect until further notice. A tornado was reported by the public and picked up on radar seven miles southwest of town and moving toward the northeast at 30 miles per hour. A tornado warning indicating the actual presence of a tornado. Those in the path of the storm must take immediate safety precautions. In the schools, students are evacuated from unsafe places and moved to pre-designated safety areas, usually along interior walls on lower floors. Some windows are open to avoid a sudden decrease in air pressure, which could cause the building to explode. Once in the shelter areas, pupils assume a protective position. This is a tornado warning. We repeat, this is a tornado warning. The tornado is now three miles southwest of town, moving to the northeast at 35 miles per hour. Those in the path of the storm should seek shelter immediately. Those caught in the open take cover in nearby ditches, ravines, or underpasses. Do not, we repeat, do not stay in automobiles.
warning has been given. The alarm sounded. There is nothing left to do but wait. Wait for the Holocaust to pass. tornado has passed. It didn't last for an hour as some have. It didn't cut a path of destruction a mile wide as some have. This one sustained itself for only two and a half minutes. But the damage packed into that short period of time is incredible. Buildings, businesses, homes, whole blocks lie in ruins, devastated. But the danger is not yet over, for the aftermath of a tornado can cause enormous problems, can be almost as deadly as the storm itself. There is much to do. Gas lines must be checked for leaks. If there are any, they must be reported immediately. Down power lines must be carefully avoided. Buildings should be inspected. Those with damage to ceilings or walls should be evacuated. Falling debris must be watched for. Those in the schools have remained calm and followed planned procedures. Teachers go over attendance records to be sure all students are accounted for while the principal or custodian check out utilities. You've seen the destruction. It is horrible, almost indescribable. Yet here, in a town struck head-on by a killer storm, casualties and death were kept to a minimum because warnings were heeded, because preparation was complete and taken seriously, because people acted quickly and correctly. A tornado can strike any time of day, any time of the year, any place in the country. Each year, places that have never been struck before join the long list of tornado disaster locations. Would you know what to do if you heard a tornado watch? A tornado warning? Or seen an enormous dark funnel coming toward you? You should, because perhaps a countdown to survival may have already begun for your town. <laughs>